Can black comedians be racist? A black person can't be racist by definition. Why is that? Because we don't have any control over people's lives. We can't, I can't tell you what neighborhood to live in. I can't tell you what school to go to. I can't tell you you're a second class citizen. I can't tell you that you can't vote. If I get on that corner and say, I, I get on that corner for five years and I stand there and I go, I'm going to take me a knife and I'm going to cut your throat and I'm going to take a car and I'm going to run you over and I'm going to take this hammer and I'm going to beat you till you dead. If I never kill anybody, am I a murderer? When I kill somebody, what does that make me? A murderer. I don't care what I talk about. I could talk about it all day long. All we do is talk. White folks do. White folks make laws. There's laws in the book. I'm from Louisiana. that said if you marry out of your race, you go to jail. You understand? There's laws that you can't own property. They made laws. Laws. You can't vote. And you can't go to the school. You can't live in this area. You ain't never seen a sign that said, white boy, if you in this town, when this sun goes down, we're going to hang you. Now have you. That's racism. A practice. What you preach. I hate that crap when they say that. It's like the race card. You're so worried about it. I'm worried about it. how in the hell did it get in the deck? And they brainwash everybody. They have a brainwashing machine that's unreal. That's why you can't catch a cab in New York. Because they think that you're the enemy. The color of your skin condemns you. That's why white people live eight years longer than we do. Because we have to put up with this crap. I go through it all the time. I get sick of it. I get sick of it. I go into a five-star hotel. I come here to do the David Letterman show. I'm eight o'clock in the morning. I cannot make this up. I'm not this good. I get on the elevator. There's a white woman there in civilian clothes, probably about 45, looks at me and says, can I help you? I said, can you? Well, who in the hell are you? I'm the maid. I said, well, bitch, go make up a bed and get the hell out of my face. Can you imagine a grown woman, I'm a mature black gentleman, asking me that, opening that door? I could have went crazy. She opened a very dangerous door. Agreed? Agreed. These are the things I have to go through as a black male. I don't like it. This is insanity. And it doesn't happen only because of white people, because of black Anglo-Saxon. You could be white up here. I'm in first class. I'm at the JFK. And the black woman's asking me, do you know what line you're in? Because I'm in first class. I said, do I look like Stevie Wonder? Yeah, I know where I am. I'm in first class. And you cannot help me. Go get your white manager. I don't want to talk to you, you dummy. And they give me that whole German Hitler crap. I'm just doing my job. Well, do it somewhere else. Don't do it in front of my face. I, I get tired of it. It's crazy.